Now I'm going to look at Devin Haney. He's 29 and 0, 15 knockouts. He's from the United States, and he's the undisputed lightweight champion of the world. Currently coming off a of back-to-back wins over George Kambosa Jr. to win the belt and then retain the belt. And uh, he's got like a Floyd Mayweather quality to him, where he's got just a really good defense. It's hard to get any. It's hard to mount any offense against him. And uh, I think some people will appreciate that, which oh, I like a good technician, you know, someone who shows that good ring generalship and defense. But some might not, though, because he's, you know, that knockout percentage is just dwindling. You know, he's getting a lot of decisions now. They're mounting up. So, yeah, let's take a, let's take a look at Devin Haney. Is that Donald Trump doing the in the intro? Okay, I might turn the volume down a bit. I'm trying to get done for copyright infringement. Lovely. Oh, that was nice. It's not that he's a hard. It's not that he's not a hard puncher. Actually, it could just be. Oh, that's nice. It could just be the caliber of his opposition. I mean, George Kambosa Jr. He went twelve rounds with Timofimo Tiafima Lopez. You know, he's a really hard puncher. You know, so I guess. So he's obviously got a good chin. I mean, I guess there was Jorge Linares who has been stopped a couple of times. I think he's definitely got a lot of stopping power though, where he, I think he definitely gets his opponent's respect. Okay, oh nice. He's picking some nice shots. And he's in a really stacked division as well with Ryan Garcia, uh, Vasily Lemonchenko. Uh, some of the guys have moved up to Junior Waterweight though, like Tiafima Lopez. I'd, no, I'd still like to see that. Obviously, you've got Tank Davis up there as well. I mean, the lightweight, lightweight and lightweight weight divisions are stacked. Okay. Okay, this is when he won... Was it the interim belt or the full WBC lightweight title when he beat this guy? So yeah, they've got a similar stance to Mauro as well, he's using that Philly shell. He's got good hand speed. He's a good boxer. Oh no, he's not a shot there. I wonder how long he'll start, start the lightweight division for though. Because I heard he struggles to make weight. Yeah, unless it's just a rumour. Some nice shots. Nice There you go, so that's Devin Haney. So Haney's doing everything right at the moment, he's undefeated. I, I just hope that we finally get to see those really good matchups though. You know, like, because there was a bit of a, an online beef between him and Ryan Garcia, wasn't there? I hope that gets to happen. I hope, I hope, I hope you know, I hope they step up and start fighting each other. I hope, you know, we get, hope we get that, those fights between Ryan Garcia, uh, you know, Tank Davis and Haney. I mean, that could be like a modern day, I'm trying to think of someone else who gets in the mix as well. 
maybe Shakur Stevenson. It could be like a modern day Fabulous Four. Remember Hagler, Leonard, Hearns and Duran? All them guys for each other, had that kind of variation. I mean, no, that's literally what could happen. I mean, you know what, if boxing was how it's supposed to be, that would ha those kind of fights would happen. It's a shame we don't get those kind of matches, you know, that often. Thanks for watching anyway, I really appreciate it.